Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, October 10th, and uh, this is the uh, end of the growing season in which I track them here. It's either October 10th or the first significant killing freeze, and uh, obviously this year uh, we do got some frost out there this morning, and the headlines do show that. Uh, some scattered frost this morning. Some areas could have a pretty good frost, but again, the duration and I think the extent of the frost is quite light, so basically uh, it doesn't really much matter. This is October 10th, so we end the growing season. And again, we're going to have sunshine over the next couple of days. It'll be warmer, and with that sunshine, it'll definitely feel pretty nice out there with highs getting up into the mid-60s today. I think tomorrow will probably be in the mid-60s to around 70, and then I think on Wednesday we'll have uh, temperatures climb at least into the low 70s, and that's when our next chance of precipitation will come. There's a lot of warm, moist air will pool up out ahead of the front that will be moving, uh, moving through the area on late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Again, I think most areas will pick up a solid uh, quarter of an inch of rain with locally up to two thirds of an inch. Now there could be some isolated pockets that could see over an inch of rain. And again, so we'll keep an eye on that because uh, there is plenty of moisture for this front to work with. If we look at the normals for the day, our normal high is 61, the normal low is 40. You can see we had a trace of snow back in 1906. If we look at the uh, next map, you can see the conditions around the area on Sunday. We had a high of temperature around the area of 60 over at Clarksville. They had a hundredth of an inch of precipitation and the cold spot over in Nuevo where it dropped down to 37 degrees. And again, it was pretty much a uh, sunny, crisp, cool fall-like day. And we expect uh, plenty of those coming up as uh, we actually do see some pretty decent temperatures over the next couple of weeks. <clears throat> If we look at the next slide, you can see again, this is the same uh, slide I showed on, um, on Friday. Again, this was the uh, most uh, growing degree days we've picked up here over the last 21 years. So again, that was never uh, an issue. And if we look at the uh, current conditions around the area this morning, temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s, you can see the area where there's a frost advisory. Again, I think this is a pretty borderline event, but uh, no doubt some of the cold areas probably got some pretty good frost out there this morning. If we look at the uh, satellite view, you can see uh, some showers and thunder showers that will stay off to our uh, southwest, but some of that moisture will be teaming up with a front that's going to be dropping down out of Canada towards the Great Lakes as we get into Wednesday. That will pick up some of this moisture, and again, I think we'll see some pretty widespread showers, maybe a couple of thunder showers as we get later in the day on Wednesday into Wednesday night. Next chance of precipitation will probably come late Saturday into Sunday as it looks right now. That looks like about a quarter of an inch or maybe a third of an inch event. Overall, I think about a half inch to one inch is possible here over the next seven days. If we look at the uh, radar, you can see no precipitation here across the Great Lakes. Everything well off to the southwest and uh, off to the northwest of that cold front. And if we look at the uh, weather map this morning, you can see the area of low pressure and a cold front that will eventually make its way into the Great Lakes. But for the next couple of days, high pressure system will be firm, in firm control of our weather with plenty of sunshine and moderating temperatures. By tomorrow morning, that front gets a little bit closer into the Midwest, again, on its way to us. Couldn't rule out a sprinkle here and there tomorrow afternoon, but I think for the most part it should be dry. And then finally, as we get into Wednesday, as that front gets closer, it looks like showers and thunderstorms will increase during the uh, afternoon and into the evening hours, and then that front will push through on Thursday. We'll have a little bit cooler air behind it, but again, this is mainly a Pacific origin type air, air mass, so we don't expect any real cold air. I don't see any threat to frost coming for the end of the week. Uh, well, not, not a big threat. There could be some as we get into a Friday or Saturday morning, but again, I don't think it'll be quite as cold as it was this morning, but we'll keep an eye on that. Certainly that can change. And if we look at the uh, precipitation here, this is for uh, Wednesday into Wednesday night. You can see around a quarter to as much as a half inch or a little more than that possible over parts of the area. But again, this doesn't look like a big rain event, but certainly some local areas could pick up a pretty decent amount of rain. So we certainly could have some field delays as we uh, go into uh, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night. Other than that, it looks pretty nice the next couple of days. And if we look at the uh, day six, day seven, this would be Saturday uh, morning into Monday morning. You can see another quarter to maybe as much as a half inch, probably more around like a third of an inch. And again, so that would be for later Saturday into Sunday as it looks right now. Sunday looks like the wetter of the two days. And if we uh, look at the overall next seven days, you can see between the two systems, many areas will pick up between a half inch and to, uh, an inch of rain here over the next seven days. If we look at the uh, longer range and the six to 10 day outlook, you can see much of the area from the Gulf to the Great Lakes is in the higher probabilities of seeing temperatures above normal. 
And if we look at the 8 to 14 day outlook, again, much of the uh, eastern two-thirds of the uh, United States will be warmer than normal. As far as precipitation, with most of these systems moving along the Canadian border, we do expect the uh, highest odds of getting a little bit above normal precipitation will be all the way uh, across the uh, northern portions of the uh, country. And if we look at the 8 to 16 day outlook, again, much the same as much of the colder air will remain off to the north. And there'll be a little bit of a clash on uh, where that warmest air meets some of the cooler air. But again, I don't expect a, uh, a significant washout or anything like that, but we do have uh, chances of precipitation maybe every three or four days with plenty of warm temperatures. As far as the uh, snow and ice pack, you can see on last Monday morning, you can see uh, much of these snow and ice is uh, well up around and north of the Arctic Circle. And then if we look at uh, seven days later or this morning, you can see that snowpack beginning to build across much of uh, Canada. And again, that'll be an indicator of when uh, we finally change this pad around that'll allow that cold air to come without moderating too much into the lower 48. But we're not quite there right now. It looks like a pretty warm couple of weeks coming up for the Great Lakes. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.